Welcome to the February Channeled Angel Message. All is not as it seems. All around you now is visible evidence of the acceleration of the awakening. Unity is birthing through the collective now as the many join together peacefully to express their desire for a new way. And we wish to remind you that there is still a long way to go. The awakening is organic. The awakening is inevitable. The awakening is occurring right now. The awakening occurs in waves and these waves are increasing in frequency and in magnitude. This process will continue with a natural process of expansion, which is evident now, and then a period of contraction. Do not fear the coming time of contraction. We remind you that every action taken by those in power now will in fact have the opposite effect and accelerate the awakening. Despite positive momentum occurring now, we remind you that the awakening has not yet reached the critical mass and inversion point. It is not over. In your heart, you know this. The magnitude of change required all around the world is significant and will require time, patience and faith. This is a process of inner awakening, of realisation and of complete transformation both within and without. The awakening requires a critical mass of individuals to walk into their own shadows and confront the full deception. This process is not easy. It was not for you and it will not be for the many. Your greatest focus now is to hold the light and to continue to do your own inner work of transformation and awakening. To practice and to master your experience of human consciousness from the 5D energy of unconditional love. This requires you to become aware of your own conditions to love. Where do you continue to hold on to outdated expressions of resistance, fear or control? What veils exist within your own perception that are asking to become visible and released? What do you desire to experience in the world? And how can you embody that now in your own situation? A time of great pain is coming as the full depths of the deception become visible to the many. You are here to guide the many through this awakening and offer compassion, forgiveness, acceptance and unconditional love. And so we remind you to continue your own work with diligence, commitment and faith. Continue to practice compassion, forgiveness, acceptance and unconditional love for yourself and for those that you care about. The more you remove your own veils now, the more you assist the collective awakening process and removal of veils. Your light, your radiance <clears throat> and your open-hearted faith have a far-reaching impact on the collective consciousness and awakening process far more than you realize. Let go of all resistance and all fear. You do not walk this path alone. And every day you are joined by more and more beings who are awakening to the infinite love of the divine. And we walk with you. We love you, the angels. Thank you. Please share this channel with your starseed and my worker family. And I'm very excited to share with you that my first book, The New Angel Messages, Awaken with the Angels, is now available for pre-order. It can be found on Amazon, on Booktopia, uh, Barnes & Noble, anywhere that you'd normally go to find books. Many of you joined me on the process as I received the messages over the course of 2020, every day. So this book, contains 365 angel messages to guide your life. Open the new angel messages and connect with a loving angelic guidance within to develop your own powerful intuitive abilities, attune your body, mind and spirit with the new earth frequencies, awaken to your purpose and mission, find faith and trust in the miracles of divine timing, feel grounded, peaceful and supported by the angels in all that you do. 
This book has two sections. The first section is a how-to. It talks about my own personal spirit experience of awakening and how I ended up becoming an angel medium. It tells you how angels work, how to work with the angels. And then section two is 365 messages from the angels to support you through your process of your awakening. It's designed to be read cover to cover, first time round, and then <clears throat> to go through and spend one day at a time with each message. Uh, the, the messages were channeled in order by the angels for a reason. And I know that for myself, working with the messages in this book over the course of two years now, has completely transformed not only my relationship with the angels, but myself. It's been an incredible journey working with the messages in this book and they continue to offer me gifts. Once you've finished the process, the messages can then be used as an oracle. So you can flip to a random page and read the message within. So, day 207. You have everything that you need. You are divine perfection. You are able to love, to learn, to create, to laugh, to heal, to manifest and to create life. You are literally the expression of God, a miracle. You are radiant. You are so filled with love and light that we see you and we are in awe of your magnificence. We have infinite love for you exactly as you are and there are no faults within you. Everything is exactly as it should be for your experience. Your own experience is perfect too. It is perfect in its depth. The magic lies in the journey and the journey is beautiful in all its shades and shadows. You are so powerful that you have no idea what you are truly capable of. You need nothing. Everything you require exists when you are ready to realize and harness it. You become ready at the exact right moment. You need not push this journey of life, this journey of expansion of consciousness, this journey of love. There is nothing that is controlling you. You are free. There is nothing that will change your experience other than your own shift in perception. There is nothing stopping you from creating a thing that you desire other than your own consciousness. You are the miracle. You are the creator. You are the lover, you are the one. What you seek and the pathway is within. There's an invocation and there's guiding angels for each message, which I'll leave to you to discover when you have the book. Thank you and I love you.